Hello and welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games. Before we start, today's video is going to be on choosing an army. Uh, but before we get into that, a little bit of house, housework. If you like my content, press the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with it. All my content. Right. You're new to Warhammer 40k, you're, you're looking to get into it, you... What army do you choose? Loads and loads of different choices. Space Marines, Space Wolves, Grey Knights, Aldar, Drakari, Harlequins, Tyranids, Orcs. Uh, but what army is best for you? You go onto the Facebook forums and ask opinion and everyone will say, this army, this army, and that's because that's their armies. Me, I don't really mind what army you play, but what I would say is when choosing an army, go for one that you like the look of, Read, go into a games workshop, they have customer copy, copies of codexes, sit, sit and have a look through each of the codexes that, of the armies that interest you until you find one that actually suits you and you like the look of what you've read what what the models look like or, that you've seen and everything like that now you, bought, you get you buy that codex you might buy the data card, so I would suggest buying the data cards because it helps a little bit with the keeping up to the with stress stratagems and and bits and pieces. It helps you keep it on top of it. It can be quite hard to do. Uh, then you've got the rule book, of course. You, but what is your first step? Well, I would say probably the combat patrol box. Dark Collection is quite good, but the Combat Patrol is literally 500 points worth of models and that will get you to play at a 500 point level straight away. And after that, I would proxy mod proxy units and see what units work for you. Uh, it, it's cheaper that way. Uh, just use anything you can to proxy a, a unit that your opponent will allow. Most people are pretty flexible with that. And I would say, right, th this is this unit of, uh, let's, let's take the uh, orcs for an example. This unit of looters is uh, proxying for a unit of flash kits. Uh, so, so my opponent knows that they're not looters; they're flash gets, and uh, I I can get get to see how the flash gets would work on the table before spending out money. Do not just go and buy a unit, and just because you like the look of them, because if you get on the tabletop and they might not work for you, they might not be, and you you, you waste money that way. Whereas if you proxy, see how they work, and if they work for you in the, in the style list you've got, then you can buy them, buy, buy the model proper, proper. Saves spending lots and lots of money because this hobby is expensive, but it is fun. And you'll get great enjoyment out of uh, converting or or just building as it and painting and then playing uh well my next videos will be on playing uh I, come at christmas i will be doing some painting of my all my terrain and bits i get over christmas so you'll see that but the next set series of videos is i've got my models i've got my codex and cards what do i do next and how do I play? And I will we'll go through that. Thank you for watching. 
If you've been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also, feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.